In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use Grammarly in the Firefox browser. We'll then look at how we can use Grammarly in popular websites such as Facebook and YouTube. All right, let's get started. Here we are in Firefox and to install an extension, we need to click on the menu icon in the top right corner of the screen and select add-ons. We can then use the search bar to find the Grammarly extension, which is shown here second in the list. We'll click on it to view more details and then click on add to Firefox and confirm by clicking add. Once installed, you'll see the Grammarly icon in the top right corner of the browser window and we're asked to confirm whether we wish Grammarly to be enabled for private incognito browsing sessions. I'll put a tick in the box and click the button. As you can see, at this stage, Grammarly is not yet activated. We need to read and agree to the privacy statement and when happy, click the button to activate. We're now prompted to sign up to Grammarly or if you already have an account, you can simply click log in. I'll fill in my details and select sign up. Grammarly then asks three questions to identify how we intend to use the app. I plan to use the app mainly for work and to improve my spelling and grammar. I'll skip the last question by clicking not sure and hitting continue. We're then asked whether we wish to subscribe to Grammarly Premium or continue with creating a free account. I'm only interested in using the free version of the app, so I'll click continue to Grammarly. Grammarly is now installed and we have the option to take a quick tour of the interface, which I'll skip and Grammarly provides us with a demonstration document that highlights all of the application's features, such as identifying spelling and punctuation mistakes and that type of thing. To create a new document, simply click on the Grammarly icon on the left side of the window. Here we're taken to the Grammarly homepage, which will show any documents we've previously created and we can create a new document by clicking on new. This opens the Grammarly editor where we can start typing our new document. We can also create a new document by clicking on the Grammarly icon and selecting new document. Now let's see how we can use Grammarly to fix up typos in websites such as Facebook and YouTube. I'll start by going into Facebook and writing a quick message to my friend Wilson. You'll notice the little green dot to the right of the text and Grammarly has detected an issue with the words, Hey Wilson, which it's underlined in red. Simply click on each word to correct spelling and punctuation. Hovering the cursor over the green dot activates the Grammarly pop-up box, which you can also use to correct any mistakes. We can do a similar thing in YouTube. I'll open this video and add a comment. As before, you see the little green Grammarly dot. Click on the dot to open the Grammarly pop-up window and there you can correct any mistakes one by one. And that is how you install and use Grammarly in the Firefox browser. And that's it. I hope you found this video useful. For more tips and videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel and you can check out my blog, facultyofapps.com. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.